I know Felix talked about this as well. Uh, Chapo Felix talked about this as well. This isn't necessarily about like how progressive any particular president has been, but he was saying like Biden is the most progressive uh, president of our lifetimes. And yes, that even includes Obama. And that is kind of true. And it's not necessarily to say Biden is more progressive than Obama because, oh, because he's so progressive but more so that uh, Obama was not as progressive as he said he was going to be. That's insane to say, isn't it? Not necessarily. Of our lifetimes, chat, of our lifetimes in contemporary American presidencies. Stop comparing it to FDR and shit. We're talking about like since Reagan, okay? Post Reagan. I mean, he is, um, he's greatly disappointed me with the $15 minimum wage battle being uh, dropped at the last second. It's like only eating lemons and then eating a grapefruit and saying it's the sweetest. That's actually a really good analogy. I'm going to steal that. It's literally like that. Oh my God, what a wonderful analogy. Thank you. Good one, Chatter. So Joe Biden is uh, relatively popular. What's really interesting about um, his approval rating right now, he has the highest favorability rating among the 18 to 29 year old Americans of any first term president over the 21 years that this Harvard poll has been out. The Harvard Institute of Politics is out this morning with a new poll of 18 to 29 year old Americans. And some of the results are fascinating. Biden has the highest uh, favorability rating amongst this group of any first term president over the 21 years this poll has been conducted, 56% of young Americans are hopeful about the country's future, including 72% of black people and 69% of Hispanic people. Young Americans are more politically active than they used to be, and there's a big increase in progressive views. Now, part of that is because it's post-Trump. The juxtaposition uh, post-Trump is always going to be a big reason. Here's a way that Joe Biden could instantly skyrocket his approval ratings even further. That is, student debt cancellation why have we still not gotten student loan debt cancellation what the fuck jack why 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 mac cancel them goddamn loans jack cut the malarkey anyway more than uh, 10k in particular he's exceeded my expectations on austerity and welfare he's been good he's done exactly what i expected on healthcare, not prioritizing it which is too bad but i understand the politics and below my expectations on things like immigration yeah it's pretty much this tracks with literally everything i feel about joe biden as well straight up anti-austerity approach actually fucking tackling uh republican grievances or rolling over republican grievances quite easily and not like doing that fake like oh but we need to do unity in the country and then like literally fucking trying to abide by republican expectations partially that's because of kirsten cinema and also joe manchin these two fucking demons that have uh, been uh taking up a lot of mental space uh in the democratic party but uh as i literally called i don't know where it is i've tweeted about this numerous times and uh, a lot of uh, neoliberals were upset at me i said i don't think joe biden is going to push for the public option i don't think joe biden is going to push for the public option everyone's like shut the fuck up you're wrong you're wrong he loves the public option he wants to fucking marry the public option he wants to he wants to do a gay marriage with the public option jack what happened i don't see no public option They've literally not brought it up at all, as I had said before, and dog shit on immigration for the most part, specifically because they are literally following through on a lot of the, uh, they're, they're following through on a lot of the Trump policies, like as, as expected of the Democrats. They're pulling the regular Democrat line on immigration. I think overall, in a post- Trump world in a post Trump world with Joe Biden uh pumping out fucking vaccines like crazy he has so many positives uh working for him the coronavirus in the rear view mirror for a lot of the country it's like actually even for people who care about this stuff anyone who's not like a fucking uh hog conservative even for a lot of those people like they are looking at covid not from an international perspective obviously we're talking about Americans Dial it back. We're not talking about India. Uh, a lot of people are getting vaccinated. So I'm sure that we're getting, we're getting to a point where people are just not taking the vaccines. Like they're not getting it. That's the main problem now. In places like Los Angeles, in order to mitigate uh, certain communities, like black and brown communities, not getting enough vaccines, uh, there are special programs rolling out like uh, pop-up vaccinations in neighborhoods where there aren't a lot of vaccines in neighborhoods where people aren't getting vaccines they're making it as these people are trying to make it as convenient as possible that is a, a is a plus congratulations to the biden administration for not fucking this up they did a pretty solid job with uh beefing up the vaccine production on top of the uh, pre-existing uh production and the deals that we had made with pfizer and moderna 
and even Johnson and Johnson. So that's like an automatic W. But on top of that, the big stimulus bill was another W, despite the fact that the $15 minimum wage was not tagged along to it. And that wasn't great. And also he's not Donald Trump. So those are those are just working in his favor, even if he doesn't do anything, right? When adjusted to that, I do find it rather odd that his approval rating is not higher than it is currently. People are caring more about healthcare and immigration right now, in my opinion. I think that's why. His foreign policy is so dog shit, it's insane. Yes, but Americans don't give a fuck about foreign policy. Let's be real, dude. His foreign policy is dog shit, though. That is true. It is mind-boggling how Joseph Robinette Biden has been able to basically continue Trump-era shit. Trump air foreign policy nearly all the way it is wild whether it be our treatment of cuba whether it be our treatment of iran it, it is legitimately mind-boggling that joe biden's uh for i mean it's not mind-boggling it's just that american foreign policy is always going to be war focused and imperialist it is just uh you know that that throne is not going to change no matter who's sitting on it he hasn't done anything about college debt it's true that's not great either uh biden also rejoined the climate agreement and will stay in the world health organization like those are those are gimmies right those are bare minimum the announcements that came from the climate change summit that he ha uh that he has been he's been holding were basically just uh reaffirming obama level like uh, paris climate change agreement protocols his recognition of the armenian genocide is good the reason why he's doing it isn't necessarily because of some genuine uh slant towards justice he's doing it specifically so that he can add additional uh pressure to another regional power like that's it all right, here we go, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The geriatric conference. Time for some fucking liberal porn rooney Thank you all, Madam Speaker. Mitch and Chuck. Madam Vice President. It's here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, boys. Hold Madam on, I'm going to clean President up here a little bit. Has ever said those words from this podium. No president has ever said those words. And it's about time. Oh, my God, he's so fucking woke, dude. Fuck! Here are a few of Azan's notes during the speech. Why is the audio Tonight, like this? He looks fucking good, though. Nation, he looks like he's been sucking on that adrenochrome, dude. Bro, he's such a bummer, dude. You know, Stop being such a fucking bummer, Joe. All right, get to the good stuff, dude. Fuck you taking notes on, motherfucker. This is a really good approach. I've said this before to climate change as an economic issue. Yeah, where the fuck is Joe Manchin? Hand over to Joe Manchin! Every line of this speech should be followed by a parenthetical that goes approximately in Senator Manchin. Is that okay? Yeah, literally just Panda Manchin. I want to know what Manchin's take is. It's a pretty solid speech. The pro act? Is, is it any good? Yes, it's very good. That's why we're glassing Iran. Why are you more happy about this? What do you want me to do? Fucking lose my mind? I keep saying it's a good speed. These are all great ideas. Uh, I want to see what Joe Manchin has to say because, you know, it's up to him. What the fuck do you want me to do? Second Go. thing, American Families Plan will provide access to... Tug! No way. That's crazy. No In one would have thought of that. Pages. What? That's wild, dude. This is really good. Same. This is Ruffle. really, really, really good. Everything he said so far, like liberals eat this shit up because Biden is saying it in front of Kamala Harris and Nancy Pelosi. But when period. Bernie Sanders says it, the you same liberals will be like, ah, these expectations are unrealistic. Is standard Democrat talking points though? Not really. It's standard progressive Democrat talking points economic. the problem here of course is that there will not be follow through you know, there's not going to be follow through and there's going to be hurdles that they won't the address right. there it is boys okay let me tell you something folks this was pretty good this was pretty good obviously it's still missing student loan debt relief that's pretty fucking not great that's that's not very poggers ultimately a lot of this was basically like i mean listen my man stole bernie's flow you know what I mean? And in a good way. And I'm very happy about it. Now, well, do I believe that uh, he's actually going to follow through on this? Or do I believe the Democratic Party is going to follow through on the promises? I don't know. There was no health care mention with the exception of ex with the expansion of like uh, more benefits or uh, uh, Medicaid, Medicare, not expansion necessarily, but subsidies. I mean, I don't think that it's going to happen. Uh, drug prices were mentioned. Yes, that was good. Kind of weird that Republicans don't clap to the same shit that they clapped when Donald Trump was saying it. But I guess that's not kind of weird. I'm kind of happy about what I just uh, saw here. It was a pretty solid, uh, it was a pretty solid speech. No, no cannabis legalization. That's not happening. I've told you already. That's not happening, okay? It is a slam dunk proposal. It is literally a fucking slam dunk proposal, extremely popular, that will literally allow Democrats to win elections. That would allow Democrats to sweep the goddamn uh, midterms. It's not happening. Deadline. Assange React TLDR solid for the bar of, for Biden? No, 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 no. This is not a solid bar for Biden. This is a solid bar in general. I'm not saying this is good for Biden. 
I'm saying this is a good speech overall. This was very good. Clear cut, well-defined policy positions all the way from labor. I mean, obviously the foreign policy is going to be dog shit. Immigration is going to be dog shit. Those are always going to be uh, dog shit Democratic Party uh, positions that are uh, borderline reactionary or just straight up reactionary. The the fact that there's no weed uh, marijuana legalization at the federal level, uh, not great. The fact that there is no um, student loan debt abolition, cancellation, whatever. But ultimately, it's, it's outside of our hands. I saw what happened with the $15 minimum wage. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I saw what happened with $15 minimum wage as a it, it's basically what's going to happen all the time. Extremely anti-China pro World War three. I mean, extremely anti-China is the way uh, going forward, right? So no matter what happens, you're always going to hear anti-Chinese sentiment that is more so uh, about attitude shifting against China, new uh, new Cold War scare. New Red Scare is the Chinese Communist Party. Ultimately, I think that this is hopeful stuff. It's uh, unique to have a president even mention this shit. Uh, 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 not just mention it, but also tagging it along with an actual clear-cut, well-defined policy. Presidents fucking talk about, oh yeah, labor, really important, really important, whatever. Like... That stuff is bullshit if you don't have, like, the PRO Act, for example. Like, calling that out by name is really good. I guess the only areas that I would have uh, issue with, the only areas where it could be better, is Biden does not use the bully pulpit to very aggressively whip the Democratic Party and even Republicans. And I think that's a weakness. I think that modern day presidents have to do that. Modern day presidents should be doing that. Partisan lines are very well defined at this point. You suffer only when you have internally an obstructionist uh, person in your caucus. And I really do, I really do think that it should not be allowed. Like I, you literally should not allow I mean, you don't allow progressives to fucking come out and speak out against your policies when they're fucking literally correct. So why the fuck do you allow uh, Democrats that are centrists or moderates to, to straight up stop you? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I like your satire hat. Oh, thanks. Okay. But it's actually time for something else right now, boys. Those are my thoughts for the time being. What I'm truly thinking about is how it's actually time for Hades. Now, I am on a run currently earlier this morning. No reacts? What the fuck do you mean? I literally did reacts for like five, six hours. Time for some Hades. I'm in the middle of a run right now, and I'm the run's about to end anyway because I was using the gun for the first time ever. And, uh, and I think I'm at the... Uh, 